in this lesson we are going to label the rooms that we have created so there are two approaches that you can use to label our rooms the first option is using the zone tool and the second option is using the text tool so both of these methods have their own uh, advantages so i'll start by showing you how to to use the, the zone tool and from there i'll show you how to use the text tool and we'll have uh, labeled our rooms correctly so let me do away with this so we start with activating the zone tool which is found under design architectural tool and then we have the zone tool so click on it to activate it then open the settings dialog for the zone tool here you will find default settings we have name and positioning we have a floor plan zone stamp stamp text style we have settings we have model area calculation classification and properties so under name and positioning we we'll have these numbers then we have a name here and we have a category these categories depend on the type of use of the of, of the of the space like if you click on the, on this arrow you will see we have uh, we have uh, these categories we have gross area we have residential and recreation we have office production and research we have storage and sales we have education and culture medical treatment other usage technical equipment communication and access so depending on the type of use that you're going to put the room to uh, the building select the category to fit that so that's it under naming and positioning under the floor plan we have options for these lines which are called the, the contour line and we have the pen that we can change if we want then we have a um, cover fill for that contour zone stamp options we have this as the stamp we have stamp text style here we can change the font type we can also change the the font pen and we can change the font size so let's say i change that to two and then i change this to montserrat this and that's done under settings I want these to be scale sensitive then we have area calculations these calculations are already set by default so we leave that as it is and click on ok so what we do is we identify one of these spaces like let's say we have this space and this space if you look at it from a from the reference document that we have is uh, labeled as a bedroom so we start drawing the outline i want us to have a to select under construction method we select manual here manual and then we can now draw this through the outlines of the internal uh, corners of this house or the, that are the internal face of, of the walls for that house when that is drawn so we click the center to position the stamp for the zone tool so you find we have that as the as the labeling so it, it's easy to change this now you select it go back to the settings dialog and then under name and positioning you are able to change this name to so the name here we have these options and i want to let's see if we have a bedroom option this is living room bedroom okay so change to bedroom then i don't want to have this number so just delete it and then and in terms of area we have the area displayed in terms of uh, square millimeters so just that's just okay so click okay then you have your room with this label so we can quickly do that to let's say this space which is our this will be our kitchen so quickly we sketch through the inside face of the those walls then we place that uh, zone and we click on it to select it 
then open the settings dialog under name and positioning we delete this number and then under name we select the name as bedroom then click ok so that's it that's how to use the zone tool to label our rooms or rather to put room tags so let's say we want to use the text so i will uh, select these zones to delete them and then in the document documenting tools we have the option for for text so click on it to select it then open the settings dialog for the text tool so here we have text style now change this font type to mont serat mont serat you can see that i want this pen to be 86 that's okay then this is this is 3 this is the font so this is the pen text pen and this is the font size in millimeters okay so we have options for text block formatting we have this as the anchor point we have a um, uncle so what i want is we should have it as always readable and here we have options for paper size so select paper size as as you can see here so that's it for default text settings so click ok when we are done with the the default settings so what you do is zoom to the space that you want to label and then you, when you double click see the text box appears then you are now able to just type the, the name then when you type it you can select it and drag it to position it where you want it to appear so let's say i want to change this to two millimeters so that it doesn't appear that big so let's change that to two then you can uh, position it there so we have that so this is also is a bedroom this is a combined shower and uh, washroom so we have shower and washroom here we also have a combined shower and washroom so wc for washroom then shr for shower this is also is a bedroom so i said you double click then the text box appears and from there now you type you type the name so here we have washroom and shower together this is the lounge we'll have this space here as our dining our dining room this is the entrance so we have an entry porch then here we have our kitchen and this is going to be our uh, kitchen could be we can call it a kitchen yard or we can call it a rear porch so that's that's in order if i still call it if you call it a kitchen yard that's still okay so we have some adjustments that i want to make so from this wall we should have 1200 and then this wall moves so that we have a space between this wall and this wall as 1.2 meters so this is it so that should be that way see what we can do then extend it then cut that and from there we have this point where we have the entry porch from the external face of this wall to the other wall should be four meters 
is 4000 millimeters. So I'll move this wall from this point to this point. Then delete this and this. So that is how it looks. So this line goes, then this text is going to be placed at the center. So with that, now we have uh, all rooms with their specific room tags, or rather we have text that shows the type of use that we are going to put every room into. So that's how to label our rooms using both the zone tool and the text tool.